Smalley, nice. <laughs> First fish, guys. Oh, I was gonna say, if it's too good to be a walleye. There he goes. First smolly. Here it is, guys. This is on one of my two flies right here. This is what I like about two fly fishing. Is uh, the hook is hooked in the mouth right here as you can see and this flies out of the way so that way your bucktail stays nice and fresh and your fly doesn't get all messed up all tangled up especially in these fish because they have a lot of like sandpaper type teeth look at that nice fat smolly first smolly of the season let's let this baby go let's measure real quick About a 16 and a half incher. Not bad, guys. Let's let it go. There she goes. Let's go catch another one. So let me show you. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys my setup right here. I just got my Phoenix feather light, seven feet one. Type of a three-way. Very important to tie three ways with a three-way swivel like this. Very important to tie a three-way swivel like this. So you have your main line, you have your sinker line. I just have a pencil weight right here with a little swivel so I can change out my my weight. I think this is a half ounce right now. I don't remember. Then I have a three and a half feet long leader tied onto my tube fly right here. So this hook it just moves up and down like so. And it's got a little conjunction tube right here that kind of holds your hook in like that. And you basically just cast and start fishing. When a fish bites, your fly's gonna come out and it's gonna be dangling away from the mouth. So it's not gonna get all tangled with the fish and, and it saves your buck tail here. Especially with, uh, with the price of bucktail right now, it's up. Uh, they're pretty high. So, and this is a Gamagatsu stinger hook right here, and you can use many different sizes as well. So let's go catch some more fish. There's a lot of current in this river too. So what I usually do is I usually cast up about four or five degrees. That way, so by the time it sinks to where I want it, it'd be uh. My bait will be near towards the bottom because we are fishing at about 25 about 30 feet right under this bridge right here. We do have a light scope on too, and uh, there are some suspended fish, possibly walleyes. And then we do have some fish that are more towards the bottom, and those could be uh, walleyes or those could be walleyes or perch. Right now I'm just letting my pencil sinker tap the bottom. And I'm just giving, giving it a couple jerks. Just to give the fly some action and hopefully something will bite and we just got to hold on. So it's very really important to have a very sensitive rod like these uh, Phoenix. Even the Synchro Victories are really nice and very sensitive. You want a medium to a medium heavy to a fast to extra fast tip. That way so you can feel the bottom, you can feel the light bites. That way so as soon as they bite you can set the hook. You don't even really have to set the hook real, real hardy. All you got to do is just kind of lift up. And then you have a fish on. That way so you don't break any rod tips or whatever. That's one of the main reasons why people are breaking their tips. Is uh, by the way they are setting their hooks. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, walleye. Is it soccer or? Yeah. Nice. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah? Okay. Wow. Look at that. This one came off the red two fly. Oh, it is 15. I think it's all. I think. Oh, really? Let me double check. Yeah. Yeah, 15 and three quarter, anyways. Oh, a little small walleye. Oh, saga. That's a saga right there. <laughs> I have no idea. Underneath you, yeah. underneath the chair. Oh, no way. Was that on the two fly too? Yeah. Oh, look at this. So I tell you guys, look at that. Fish, it was like a fish too. <laughs> let, me, let, me take a, let me take a picture of that real quick. That is too funny. Oh, man. Tell you, a fly catches everything. Well, I guess I didn't get it on my camera, but I just got a 16 inch smallie. As you can see, I'm right by shore too. But we're gonna let this baby go. Let it grow. Beautiful release. So what I'm doing is I'm just casting it out. Let it sink for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just slowly jerking it in, torquing it in. Just like that. Then if there's a hungry fish, they'll yeah, just hammer it. That was literally my first cast right here too. We just got here. The kids, I needed to use the restroom. And that was literally my first cast and I got that one. I thought I turned the camera on, but apparently I turned it off. So, so we, won't, we won't get to see the fight. Oh, there goes, got another one. Got another one. Oh yeah. I think this is another smallie. It's fighting like a smallie. Man, I love this. Oh yeah, it's another smallie. Wow. I love this. It's much smaller. Probably just bring him up. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Two flies, guys. Two flies. Right here. Awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. This one goes around. This one's 13 and a half, which would be illegal to have to keep anyways. But I like releasing smallies and largies. So let's let this one go. Let's go catch some more. Look at that, another smallie on the two fly. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Hold on, buddy. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it's bleeding. So let it go. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. Oh, got another one. <laughs> another one, guys. Another one. <laughs> oh, walleye. Walleye. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think uh, that was a that was a yeah. <laughs> yeah, 15, 15 and a half. So, yeah, oh, you got one? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, it is one. It is one. All right. Hey, give me, give me the black one. Oh, yeah. All right, bring it over. Bring a bit. <laughs> there he goes. Good job. I think this is a sauger too. Yeah. No, we could just uh, keep on going up and down. Yeah. We should keep that. Yeah, I think this is a. If it was a while, I'd be a keeper, anyways. Voila! Oh, it is a sauger, y'all. Pretty little sauger. Oh, really? guys I don't know if you guys can see me but uh, we had a pretty good day today not it was very slow but we did manage some walleyes some saugers and one white bass but we are ready to get out of here so hopefully you guys learned something about tube flies and if you guys ever need some yeah just like, hit me up but anyways catch you guys later poly dreams poly passions make it happen guys